Good morning, good morning. So today we are going to read Llama Llama Mess 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 by Anna Dudney. Here we go. You're not messy, right? You're clean, right? You clean up after you? I'm sure. Here we go. Llama Llama in his room. Cars and trucks go honk and zoom. Racing under sheets and chairs. Mama Llama calls upstairs. Time to pick up all your toys. Why is Mama making noise? Mama says it's cleaning day. Llama only wants to play. Oh my. When Mama says clean up, do you clean up or do you keep playing? Hmm. I'm sure you clean up like you're supposed to right away, right? Yeah. Mama says to make the bed. Llama Llama shakes his head. We all have a job to do, even little llamas, too. What if Mama never cleaned? Imagine that. What would that mean? If Mama didn't dust or mop, she'd toss the rags and off she'd hop. Oh, look, she's just throwing them. Oh my. She'd take the clothes all clean to wear and throw them up into the air. <gasps> what if Mama did that? And then they just land anywhere. Oh, goodness. No doing laundry anymore. Just drop the towels upon the floor. See that? What if Mama did that instead of cleaning them up and putting them where they went? She'd pull the sheets right off the beds and wear the blankets on her head. That might be cute for a minute, but not when you want to go to bed, right? Mm. She'd leave the pots and pans and plates and dance around on roller skates. Oh no, everything's just left. It's getting so messy. Who's going to clean it up? This is a problem. Oh my! Then zoom into the living room to make a fort with mops and brooms. She'd have herself some crunchy snacks and throw the bags behind her back. Oh, oh Mama Llama is being so messy. The fort looks cool, but she's made such a mess. Who's going to clean that up? And it's going to start to stink. <gasps> oh, my. Crumbs and clothes and peanut shells. What's this thing? What's that smell? Messy counters, dirty drawers. Oh, it's getting terrible, isn't it? Where is Mama? Where's the floor? Everything's in disarray. Mama has no, oh, Llama has no place to play. Look, it's such a mess. Where's Llama gonna play? Goodness. Clutter, chaos, and distress. No more Llama mess, mess, mess. Grown-up llamas clean, that's true. But little ones can pick up, too. Llama Llama nods his head. Maybe we should clean instead. 
Llama Llama picks up blocks, puts them all into his box. Now that's the idea, right? Books go back upon the shelf. Llama puts them there himself. Are there things beneath the bed? Check and see. Lift up the spread. Let's see. Look what Llama Llama's got. Each thing has a special spot. Llama pulls the sheets up tight. Mama tucks the quilt just right. Look at how well things go when you work together, right? Ah, uh, and things feel so nice when they're clean. Lots of space to play with Mama. Look at that. Oh, it's all nice and clean, which is kind of relaxing to have things all nice and clean, peaceful. And now they have time and room to play. Yay! Guess who's proud of Llama Llama? Wow, it's important to think about things sometimes, right? We need to do our part. We need to keep things clean. If we just throw everything and let it be a mess like Mama Llama did in the beginning, ah! There's nowhere to step without hurting your little feet, right? There's nowhere to sit and things start to stink. Ugh. But when we keep things clean like Llama Llama learned, then there's time for everything. There's more time to play with Mama Llama, right? And everything's clean so there's a space to play. That's nice. I know you guys are clean, right? You, you pick up after yourself? Of course you do. Well, I love you.